Welcome back to Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Thank you so much for an amazing, wonderful set, and I'm super excited to talk to you beautiful ladies. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for coming back. We've been looking forward to this. <laughs> Me too. Uh, the last time we talked, I want to bring you a little bit time back. We... Um, ended up the interview uh, when you complimented me for the questions and then you said what if the interviewer asks us what is our favorite receipt or recipe so yes. oh, yes. yeah. remember that and you told everything about your favorite re recipe yeah so uh when i was getting ready for this interview i decided that you know what that was a request from from Amy and Katie. So I, what I will do, I will try to ask them as many questions as possible, non old man markerly related. Oh, gee, yes, That's so this possible. is gonna be really fun. So, this is gonna be way more fun than the one I wrote yesterday. <laughs> and the one we wrote and the one that he got stuck doing. Oh, okay. So uh, that, that's why that's why that's why it was this important. This is going to be really fun. I hope okay, so. Yes, thank you. Uh, also, uh, we will start with. Um, and when we're speaking about recipes and food, uh, every time I pass this one place in Vancouver called Cupcakes, I think about you two. The reason is because uh, there's a place in Vancouver called Cupcakes, and there is uh, this place is started by two best friends, two girls, who has been doing this for ten years now. I wonder if one's blonde and one's brunette, and one's tall and one's short. Maybe. It's it's getting too crazy uh, yeah. because it's too close because they've been doing it for ten years mm -hmm. and they're best friends and uh, every time I pass this or I I uh, think of you and I decided to start this interview with a small present oh with the cupcakes. Oh my gosh! Oh my god! What no. a thoughtful present! Oh, because you known as a. Uh, People who bring cupcakes or cookies oh, we to, do. We to, to BBC show. Like, how do you stomp? Katie actually oh, made cupcakes and took them to Mike Davies. Um, oh, we yeah. Have you. When we did. Oh, am I opening this sideways? No, it's all good. Oh. It's Canadian. Oh, so it's my God. They are Sorry, so they are. <laughs> wait. Oh, my God. Wait, let's show oh, the door. I don't even have my phone to take an Instagram. I do. Photo. Perfect. I have some right there. <laughs> okay. I don't want to use the phone on the toilet, but I'm going to break that rule. <laughs> It can't possibly fall through because there's a, there's a stool. I'll hold it, so to speak. Okay. Don't get my thumb. Look how ugly it oh, is. Oh, gross. Okay. My thumb's slightly less gross. It's okay. This way, we'll prove that... We're not photographers. We're musicians. <laughs> You'll tell we'll by We'll prove that we're best terrible. friends, but we won't prove that we're good... Thank you. That was so thoughtful. Yeah, did you tell you. them that you were buying it for of two best I friends? I called the them, shows? and they have a TV show now on Opera Channel, Opera on Network. On all? And I tried to get their DVD, but they don't have a DVD. They have third season, but I wanted to. You know what? I'll uh, find it on YouTube. Please do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this oh, is right. the name of their shop. Yeah, cupcakes, cupcakes uh, in Vancouver. Baked fresh daily. Uh, what cute boxes! And now yeah, we know that's how adorable. Opening. How to open oh that? Oh my God! If we can share with the rest of the band. Right? That's what. That's why I yeah, brought you. The, so the so so Thank you. All right. Speaking of recipes. Let's start with this. Okay. Could you please tell a little bit about this recipe? Oh. Okay, this was oh, one of gee. my recipes from my kitchen. I picked up some artichokes, these are artichokes, from a farmer's market. I go to a farmer's market on Sundays. What? And a farmer's market. And I have a, actually have a friend that makes pies there called Pie Bake Shop in Studio City. Her name is Morgan and she makes delicious pies. And she also works with her best friend. And she works with her best friend. So yeah. it's like a beautiful thing about best friends like to cook together and yeah. eat together and we like live to together and was live in a bus together. I think I made these for you and I remember me being and there Johnny for one and of those nights. So this is fresh artichokes that you cut the top off and then see how each leaf is snipped. I take a little scissor and snip the leaves because they're sharp on the end. And then these lemons, I grew them myself. They're from the tree in my backyard. It's impossible to repeat this. Uh... Impossible to repeat this actual one, but I have a lot of lemons because I grow them. And Katie and Don't I... Don't try to bring them from America into Canada. No. That, We've it's... been cited for such things. Very risky. Apples, mostly. But... Katie and I have been known to make lemonade from these very lemons that grow on my tree and mix it with whiskey. Life gave them to us. Oh yeah, we had a whiskey aid afternoon, but you know what we also had that, was this that same day? Because we also- Maybe, pretzels? Uh, oh yeah, uh, same day. But this lovely liquid right here, these are not, are they steaming or boiling? These are being boiled. Now, when you're done, when you're done boiling these for about 45 minutes, don't get rid of the water. 
I learned this from a girl that I used to work with at UCLA. She was from Vietnam. And her family, whenever they steamed or boiled artichokes, they saved the liquid that it was boiled in and they cooled it in the fridge and made a tea out of it. And so you could either actually use that liquid that the they've been cooked in with tea bags or you could just use it on its own with a little bit of like either lemon honey juice. or agave or lemon juice. Or whiskey. Or whiskey. whiskey. It's risky, but it's good. We, <laughs> we drank all that juice and it was so good. Yeah. I couldn't even believe it. And so that's what that is. It's artichokes boiled with fresh, homemade, homegrown lemons. And then there's actually a tea here, which you didn't even know. That's the bonus. Yeah. It's a bonus. Surprise tea. Yeah. Yeah, it was a surprise for me also because she told me it was artichoke iced tea. And then later told me there was no tea in it. <laughs> tea. 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 So that was that recipe. Thanks Let's for Let's go to the next one. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. And this is Annie's special one. This is your best dish you cook. Oh. oh yeah. I made this for Joey and me. I wish we had some tea. Joey I'll used to, our bass our player, food. Joey, lived with Johnny and I for many years. Okay. And um, Joey and I often used to make dinners together. So this was my half of the dinner that night, and Joey made the other half. Boiled so hamburgers. He probably boiled hamburgers. That's a whole nother recipe that Joey, you'd have to ask Joey no, about that one. He probably made perfect pasta. Yeah, Joey makes perfect pasta. But this is just roasted vegetables, because I'm vegan, so I don't need any like eggs or mm -hmm. butter or anything. So Brussels sprouts, potatoes, Sweet potatoes. There's some carrots in there too. Is it onion? Onion, yeah, onion, broccoli, and I think there was also there was a lot of herbs. But I wonder if I had. I didn't have any parsnips that day. Sometimes I put in parsnips. Roasted parsnips what are delicious. Like? Do they look like potatoes. They look like white carrots. Parsnips. Oh. You know? And then uh, you put it in the oven? You put a little bit of olive oil and all sorts of fresh, any sort of fresh herbs you have or dried herbs, um, and then you mix it up with your fingers, and then you roast it until they're like tender. Sometimes it's 30 minutes, sometimes it's 40 minutes. It depends on your yeah, altitude yeah. or your oven. Um, until you think it tastes good and a little salt. Or you can put a little balsamic vinegar on it towards the end. Like open the oven, drizzle. She's a yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you just enjoy. But this very night, Joey had cooked some fettuccine pasta and pesto. Uh -huh. And so we had that, and then we put this on top of it. So this was just half of the recipe that night. But it was the good half because I was in the best of it. Half. Yeah, I was in charge Let's of it. Let's say this is the best half. It's the best half. <laughs> it was beautiful. a big half, too. It looks really good and herby. Katie made me roasted vegetables when we were over there the other day. I did. Yeah, beets. Broccoli, cauliflower? cauliflower, and we did a oh, the yeah, green we spicy like dipping a, sauce. Yeah, green, yeah, like a salsa. And egg. we had it was really good. pink wine, really spicy, really With spicy. Peppers from the farmers market. The farmers market. Farmers market. That's right. You're not saying it right if you don't say it like that. According yeah. to some people. <laughs> That's right. Awesome. All right. <laughs> okay. This is amazing.